and change your life. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Glory Realm, a time that we spend with God. Proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you closer to God. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today on this lovely day. It's slightly windy, but it's an amazing day. It's a wonderful day right here in the Bay in the windy city, Port Elizabeth. And it is amazing. I've been in the presence of God and I am just enjoying. I'm happy. It's a great day. My dear friend, we've gotten through another week and it's by the grace of God. Today is Friday. On Friday, we usually pray Friday financial prayers. And today we're going to do something a bit different. The Lord spoke to me today. He woke me up early once again and He spoke to me. He said, speak to my children to change their mentality and pray for them that they will get the winner's mentality, the heaven mentality, so that they can go forward and do the things that they need to do. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. God has called you for a specific purpose and a specific mission. But in order for you to walk in that purpose and that mission, you need to have the right mentality. You need to think the correct way. Your mind needs to be filled with the correct things. Your mind needs to think in a God perspective and not in a worldly, earthly, fleshly perspective. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. We go by a different set of rules. We don't see things from an earthly perspective, but we see things from a heavenly perspective. The Bible says, greater is he who is within me than he that's in the world. Greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. Greater is the Holy Spirit that's within the child of God than he that's in the world. We are not the same as those who are in the world. Therefore, we have to have a different mentality from them. I want to take a bit of a scripture reading from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. And I'm going to read to you from the King James Version. It says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. My dear friend, we have a duty as born again believers. And our duty is to think the correct thoughts, to do the correct things, to follow in line with the Holy Spirit. We need to set our mindset in line with the mindset of the Holy Spirit. We need to understand the thoughts of God. We need to understand the way God wants us to go. We have the Holy Spirit with us. We are moving at a different dimension. Start from today to think good thoughts. Start to think in the correct manner, my dear friend. Stop saying, I can't do it. Start saying, I can do it through Christ who gives me strength. Stop giving up so quickly and saying, it will work for other people, but it won't work for me. Start pursuing and pushing. Press until something happens. Pray. Push until something happens. Do something for God. Keep going. Don't give up. The moment you see a challenge, don't give up at that point. Keep pushing until something happens. Because greater is He who is within you than he that's in the world. Stop thinking from an earthly, natural, carnal, fleshly perspective and think from a spiritual perspective, my dear friend. Because you are a spirit who lives in a body that has a soul. You are not a body. You are not a fleshly being. You are a spirit being who lives in a body who has a soul. Start to think from a spiritual perspective, from a spiritual heavenly perspective. Stop saying things like it can't work for me. Stop thinking on the negative that it will all go wrong. But think on the positive, my dear friend. Think in the right way, the correct way. Stop saying I will fail and stop thinking and, and saying things will go wrong for you and it won't work out. You won't get past a certain point and start saying it will work for me. I'm going to make it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to succeed in the name of Jesus. I'm going to go up to a greater glory in the name of Jesus. Start confessing the right things. Start thinking the right things. Train yourself from today onwards, my dear friend, to think and be in such a way where you, you don't allow negative thoughts to go through your mind. You don't allow the devil to put any negative thoughts and you don't entertain them. The moment a negative thought comes in your mind, Cancel that negative thought in the name of Jesus. Say, you negative thought, I cancel you and I break you in the mighty name of Jesus. And speak a positive thing in the place of that. Say, I will make it in the name of Jesus. If that negative thought comes saying you'll fail, say, I will make it in the name of Jesus. If a negative thought comes saying that you will lose, say, I will win in the name of Jesus. If a negative thought says, look at other people, they're not going well, then it's not working out for them, so it won't work out for you. Say, I go by a different set of rules. I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. I am a child of God. I'm not like the childs of the world. I'm a child of God. 
We go by a different set of rules. Maybe it didn't work for them, but it will work for me. Get the scripture. Understand the scripture. Find the promises of God. Understand what the Bible is saying. Understand what the Bible promises you, my dear friend. Take that and apply that in your life. Superimpose the law of the spirit of life. When the devil comes saying that you won't make it, say the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. The moment you do that, you'll unlock power. Suddenly, you'll see a divine change in your situation. Suddenly, you'll get a sudden good break. Suddenly, there will be a divine change for the better. God wants to take you up. But in order for God to take you up, you need to change your thoughts from earthly thoughts to heavenly perspective thoughts to God kind of thoughts. And even as you think like that, God will bless you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. I already feel the presence of God so strongly. And I know like I know like I know that as we pray, God is going to do something mighty in your life. Are you ready? Take your cell phone, your device. Go somewhere private where you can just pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up praises to the Lord. Father, you are my Lord. You are my God. You are the God in whom I trust. I trust in you. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Lord, my dear friend watching this video trusts in you. My dear friend watching this video believes in you. My dear friend watching this video has faith in you. Lord, it is all you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, all the praise for everything that you do in our lives, even the little things. We give you all the praise and we thank you that even today you are doing it again in the life of my dear friend watching this video. I thank you, Lord God, in advance that even as we end this prayer video today, as my dear friend prays with me to the end, their life is changing for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your breakthrough and I thank you for your miracle power that is available to us right now. I thank you for your spirit that is available to us right now. And I thank you for the way you made it, Lord. I thank you that you made it through your grace so that no one can say I earned this on my own, but it's by the grace of God. It is a free gift that you gave us, Lord, as you came and you died for us. We thank you, both myself and my dear friend, we thank you for coming to die for us, to restore us back to God again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord Jesus. Right now, we just take a moment to receive the finished work of the cross. We receive the finished work of the cross. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. You are our Deliverer. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here already. I discern the presence. God is already moving. I want you to do something with me quickly. Say, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, come and touch me today. Come and touch me as I pray with Evangelist Gabriel. Come and touch me and change my life forever. Change my thoughts. Change the way I see things. Change the way I, I, I speak. Change the way I act. And do it for the glory of King Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here. Now, I want to pray for you that you will think in the right way. That God will change your mind to the divine perspective. But before we go there, I want to encourage you to do three things as usual. Number one, comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is power in agreement. Let us form a worldwide network of agreement. The second thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray for you, feel free to go to my website, click on daily prayer list. It's called daily prayer list because I pray for it daily. Go there and fill in your prayer requests, fill in all your prayer points and click submit. I want to trust God with you. God will come through for you mightily. The third thing, if you've got a testimony already, so many are coming in and we're working around the clock with the team. We're going to have them put up. There's quite a few of them. They need to be put up. And uh, if you've got a testimony, feel free to go to the website www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify and just fill in your testimony and click submit and it will go through for review. And even as it goes through for review, we will put it up. If it's appropriate, we'll put it up and it will encourage someone else's faith. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I stretch my hand towards this camera right now. Lord, I pray for your child who's watching this video. My dear brother, my dear sister, wherever my dear brother or my dear sister might be around the world, we know distance is not a barrier. Whether it's in America, whether it's in India, whether it's in Nigeria, whether it's in Ethiopia, whether it's in Zambia, whether it's even in South Africa, wherever it might be that my dear friend watching this video is watching. Lord, let your power just touch my dear friend, my dear brother, my dear sister, your child, whom you love very much. Let your power just touch your child. And first of all, number one, let your power 
just encourage your child right now. Let strength just fill your child right now. Let strength and encouragement just fill your child right now. I ask this in the name of Jesus. And Lord, number two, I ask you, let your grace to think the right thoughts, the heavenly perspective thoughts, just be released over your child right now. Let your child begin to think in the right way, in the heavenly perspective, not in the earthly perspective, but in the heavenly perspective. I ask this in the name of Jesus, and I thank you for it, Lord. Lord, do what only you can do. As you change your dear child's thoughts and thinking patterns, change your child's life. Lord, I pray that the thoughts and the thinking patterns of your child who's watching this video, my dear brother and my dear sister, I pray that those thoughts and those thinking patterns will line up with the patterns and the thinking patterns and the thoughts that are necessary for your dear child watching this video to walk in their destiny, in their purpose and in their calling. Lord, for we know that you have a divine plan and an agenda for your dear child who's watching this video. For every child of yours, you've got a plan for them. You've got a purpose for them. And Lord, in order for them to walk in that purpose, we know that we have to have the right thinking mentality. Let the right thoughts and the right thinking mentality just enter your child who's watching this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, I want you to do something with me. Let us say this together. Let us say something together. Let us do something together. We're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out. And uh, the only reason we're doing this is so that you can relax. I don't know what state you might be watching this in, but just so that you can relax, so that you can calm down. And then we're going to make some confessions. Are you ready for that? Okay, let's begin. Just breathe in. And now breathe out. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that my life is going well. Say it. Thank you that my life is going well. Even if it's not going well, say, thank you, Jesus, that it's going well. Confess those things that are not as though they are. Speak into your situation. You have divine authority in your mouth. You have divine authority placed on you. You have divine authority in Christ. Say, I am blessed. I am a blessed child of God. I am in this world, but I am not of this world. I go by a different set of rules. I will go up, I will not go down. My life is blessed forevermore. My family is blessed. At my job, I'm blessed. My business is blessed. My business has favor. At work, I have favor. All my family members at work, they have favor. My children at school, they have favor. They are going up, they are not going down. They are going to do well in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, speak those things that are not as though they are. Even if it looks like it's a bad situation, Speak it into being. Change the situation by the power and the authority in your mouth and by the scripture. The power and the authority in your mouth combined with the scripture has dynamic effects on your life and it can change your life. It can bring a change where it seems like a difficult situation. Say, my Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Say, all things are working together for my good right now. Everything is working together, mobilizing, falling in place, coming together, working together for my good. Say, my God is with me, therefore who can be against me? Say, if God be for me, who can be against me? Say, greater is he who is within me than he that's in the world. Say, I am operating from a divine heavenly perspective, not from a worldly perspective. Though it may look a certain way on the outside, I know God is working behind the scenes. The angels of God are working overtime behind the scenes in order to change this situation into my favor. Hallelujah. And even as you confess those things with me, I stretch my hand to this camera. I decree and declare in accordance with the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28. You are blessed and you cannot be cursed. You are blessed to go up and not come down. I bless you with such a blessing that you will have the right thoughts and the right mentality. I bless you with a blessing in alignment with the book of Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. Those who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. I decree and declare, as you know your God, you shall be strong and you shall do great exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name. God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Until we meet again tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.